the painting is not about me, it's about the painting itself. And I'm just a bridge for it. So I am a tool, I am like a brush. The painting needs a form, I give it a form. It's, to me, it's like a spirit, let's say. Most of this subject is coming from my environment, like a reflection, and it's like a mirror. When I paint this painting, is what I see, actually, the, and the way I see it in the environment, like uh, this one. This painting is uh, it's about Casablanca. When you walk in the streets, you meet people, you see people interacting with each other, doing their daily life. But um, you feel kind of emptiness, you feel kind of mask. Still, there is this warm color in the people. You still feel vibe in the people, but uh, there is this uh, cold environment. For me, it means that the separation from nature can create a psychic problem in our life. It started when I spent a lot of time alone in the field between the age of four until I leave the village. And when I discovered the pencil, <laughs> this is also black magic. When the school comes to my village, I started to draw day and night, anywhere, any, any time. <laughs> Keep in mind that in my environment, art is something that you shouldn't do. So the drawing is always for me in secret. So I hide my drawings. Uh, at 10 or 11, I don't remember exactly. There was a drawing in, my, in one of my books and the one teacher uh, took uh, this book by accident. He just flipped through the pages and he discovered my drawing. And they were so afraid. I was like, what, he gonna punish me? Actually, he looks at me and he say, you did this? And they say, mm. and he was so surprised and he really loved the drawing. So, we end up uh, drawing on the walls of the school, so I become famous in my village as an artist. <laughs> From his seaport, I come actually to study in Isawira. And when I discovered this city, it's really opened my mind because it's different culture, it's different environment. You study uh, art in school, there is roles. This is different than what I imagined. I feel like it doesn't lead me nowhere where I want. It doesn't really take me to these mystical things about painting. It's only show me techniques. So after a few years, I actually dropped school because it's not really answering my questions. To learn new things, not only about painting, but about life in general, questioning my conditioning. <laughs> Painting was the only thing I devote myself to. I don't feel good if I don't paint. So it's a therapy, it's a food, it's growing in life and experiencing different things. It's like it gives me another way of seeing the surrounding and the environment. 